Hey everybody, Freddy here with another video. This time we're going to be talking about cloud storage. Which cloud storage should I choose? In this channel, we have discussed three different types of cloud storage, Google Drive, Dropbox, and Microsoft OneDrive. So today we're gonna go ahead and go through the evaluation process. We are going to be talking about how convenient it is to install each one of them, the price and how much storage you get for that price. We're also going to be talking about the synchronization. We're going to be talking about how easy it is to synchronize your desktop to the cloud and also the disaster recovery. When it comes to recovering the data from the cloud, um, how easy it is to do it. I do have other videos in this channel, so if you haven't checked those videos out, please do so, where I go in detail on how the recovery takes place. So if you haven't checked those out, please do so. I encourage you to go in and look at the other videos as well. We're gonna start with Google Drive. So the first question that comes to mind is how convenient it is to install Google Drive. The installation is very straightforward. You download the client from google.com and you run the installation. You can select the, the defaults, you just go next, 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 and then the, the client installs. Then you select the files that you want to synchronize with the cloud and the synchronization takes place. It's very simple, very easy to do. So when it comes to the installation, no problem, easy. So as far as the the storage that you get and the price you with Google Drive, you get 15 gigabytes of free space right off the bat. So as, as long as you have a Google account, a Gmail account, you already have 15 gigabytes. So it's very nice. You don't pay anything and you get 15 gigabytes right away. If you want more, uh, as of the recording of this video, this is what the price is. Uh, two terabytes uh, is the one that is showing here in this uh, panel here is two terabytes of storage for $99.99 per year. Uh, again, it's $9.99 per month if you do it monthly. If you pay yearly, you get a discount. So Google Drive, as far as pricing, not bad. 15 gigabytes of free space. And if you need more, you can always get more. How about the synchronization? Again, once you install the client, you select the folders that you want to synchronize and you let them synchronize. They automatically synchronize with Google. Uh, the synchronization is very easy. The last thing is the disaster recovery. The disaster recovery, it's a little bit on the negative side uh, because Google Drive does not give you the ability to recover folders or it doesn't give you the ability to recover multiple files and different versions of the files. So if you're thinking about ransomware, if you're thinking about something catastrophic like that, then uh, Google Drive doesn't give you that flexibility to be able to recover easily from ransomware. If you erase a file, if you overwrite a file, yeah, you can go in there, right click on the, on the file, select the version that you want to recover, and you're back in business. So as far as recovery on a file by file basis, it's great, no problem whatsoever. Now, if you wanna recover in a massive scale, like for example, ransomware, then yeah, no, no points on that one for Google Drive, unfortunately. But uh, the, the best thing about Google Drive again is 15 gigabytes of free space right off the bat. So moving forward, the next one is Dropbox. Okay, Dropbox. So how convenient it is to install the, the Dropbox client. So Dropbox, you can go to dropbox.com. You download the client, you install it. If we're talking about a Windows client, you go in, you install it, and you select the folders that you want to synchronize, and it starts synchronizing. Again, client configuration and installation is very easy. Same as Google, no problem whatsoever. So that one gets brownie points. <laughs> As far as price and storage, as far as price is you get two gigabytes right off the bat free, as you can see here. The basic, which is free, you get two gigabytes, it's for one user. Uh, you can back up your computer to it. 
for $9.99 a month, you can get two terabytes. Not bad as well. And if you want, you can go with a family, which is $16.99 per month. And this, you have two terabytes that you can share with other members, which gives you up to six users. So if you have six people and you want to share files with all these people, then you can go ahead and get Dropbox and it's not, um, not very difficult to use. So Dropbox, again, same price as Google. So going back to Google, two terabytes, $9.99 per month. And we'll have this uh, summary at the end. So Dropbox, no problem at all. The other thing is synchronization. Synchronization is great, same as Google. Um, you select the folders and then the files start synchronizing up to the cloud. The disaster recovery when it comes to ransomware, Dropbox is similar to Google to a certain extent. A little bit easier when it comes to recovering files, but again, it's still a little bit of a tedious work to go in and recover files in case of ransomware. If you delete a file, or you overwrite a file, it has versions, so you can go in and select the version that you want and you can recover specific versions of the file, which is great. So Google Drive, Dropbox, Google Drive still winning because of the amount of space that it gives you for free. So moving forward, the next one is OneDrive, Microsoft OneDrive. The installation and configuration, it's even easier than the other ones because if you already have a Windows 10 computer, it's already installed. You don't have to install anything, it's already there. All you have to do is you have to log into your uh, Microsoft account, either um, email or Office 365. And OneDrive is part of the Office 365 family. So as far as pricing, you get two gigabytes for free. Um, but if you want, if you want more, you can get the, the OneDrive only, which has 100 gigabytes for $199 per month. That's 100 gigabytes total for $199 per month. Now, if you want to go up to the one terabyte, you can go with one terabyte. And here it tells you that it is for $6.99 a month, or you can buy, you can pay yearly for $69.99 a month, and you get the whole one terabyte. Um, Microsoft uh, will give you another option, which is six terabytes, and that is one terabyte per person if you go with a family plan. The family plan is $99.99 a month, and this one, or you can pay monthly, which is $9.99 a month. But this one is for, for a whole family, and one of the benefits of OneDrive is that when you get this Microsoft 365 personal, for example, you get the one terabyte for $69.99 a year, then you also get Office with that. So premium versions of, of Office for Mac and PC. So that's a nice little benefit because you, you automatically get Microsoft Office with it. Not bad. Uh, the, the next thing is synchronization because it's already part of the operating system. You enable it, you select the folders that you want to synchronize and the files are synchronizing up to the cloud. So from synchronization point of view, exactly the same as Google Drive, exactly the same thing as Dropbox. From the disaster recovery, again, from ransomware, if you, for some reason, get infected with ransomware and your computer gets infected, all those files are going to be synchronized to the cloud drive or to the OneDrive. And now all the files on the OneDrive are going to be encrypted as well. And this is true for all cloud providers that, that give you a desktop client. The benefit of OneDrive is the OneDrive has this system or this process that is checking your files. And if it notices that there is something unusual, some anomaly that happened, the files are changing and everything seems to be getting encrypted, Microsoft recognizes that. And Microsoft will send you an email and let you know, hey, there's something going on with these files. Please check to see if there is any signs of ransomware. If there is, you can go ahead and tell Microsoft OneDrive to recover from the, from the previous version. You specify the previous version that you want and then all your files are restored back to uh, back to the time that they were not encrypted. And this is an amazing feature that none of the other two cloud providers offer. The other ones, if you get encrypted with ransomware, you have to do it manually, which will take you a very long time. 
OneDrive will do it automatically for you. So, so definitely the winner in this category is OneDrive. Okay, so to recap, we have we looked at OneDrive, we looked at Dropbox, we looked at Google Drive. Not in that order, but those are the providers that we looked at. So here's a summary. Installation, Dropbox is easy, Google Drive is easy as well. OneDrive is already installed. Uh, as far as the price per month, you get uh, two terabytes for $9.99 with Dropbox, you get two terabytes for $9.99 with Google Drive, and you get one terabyte for $6.99 with OneDrive. Uh, backup, they're all very easy to do. Again, this is the synchronization process. You tell it which folders you want to synchronize and they're all the same. They all do the exact same thing. As far as free storage, definitely Google Drive is the one that gives you the most with 15 gigabytes. Uh, Dropbox gives you two, OneDrive it says here five, but in reality it's about two gigabytes. Uh, restore from ransomware, Dropbox is a bit difficult. Google Drive is definitely difficult and OneDrive is extremely easy. You just select the files and you tell it when to recover from. So which one is the winner The winner, and which one would I use? I would use OneDrive and I would recommend that you use OneDrive. Uh, again, this is not being sponsored by Microsoft. This is not sponsored by Google. This is not being sponsored by Dropbox. This is just based on my own research because the recovery process in case I get encrypted with ransomware because I need to recover. OneDrive is going to be the easiest to recover. Uh, the other benefit of OneDrive is that it comes bundled with Office 365. So not only I pay $6.99 for one terabyte, I'm protected from ransomware, but at the same time, I'm getting Office, the Office suite uh, included in this bundle. So I hope you found this uh, beneficial. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If you found benefit out of this video, please click the like button. Thank you so much. And until the next time, have a great day.